didn't imagine it being that extreme. I'm completely blown away. We literally had the cash. That was about the only prep we did. Oh, we didn't bring any trays or boxes. We just bought an entire train shop. We, we're exhausted. Let's try that again. We just went to this flea market and with this money, we bought everything. Then we loaded it with this cart. Now it's on our van and now it's on our warehouse steps. But that won't make us any money. So let's fix that. Let's go, baby. We got some serious locomotives here. All kinds of different brands, bunch of Santa Fe, all different kinds. There's some lifelike. We have a Bachman. There's Tyco, there's Caddo, pretty much everything you can imagine. And the good part is, a lot of these work, if not all of them. So that is very, very nice. We have a Southern Pacific, some Silver Streak Locos, and more of the Blue Santa Fe scheme, and an Illinois Central. All right, we got some Union Pacific. Nice Burlington Northern, Golden Eagle. We got something for the Canadian National fans there. Some Chessie, B&O, some Undecorated, Burlington, couple Rio Grandes. We got this Southern, it's a Caddo, and a Model Power Southern. All right, same engine, one in the box, one without the box. Atlas, Pennsylvania, nice Lehigh Valley, IHC there. Another Illinois Central, Rock Island logo, Pennsylvania steam engine, little switcher, another Pensy, along with a switcher, and we got a little steam engine, but he looks like he's the guy that needs some work here. We got all kinds of awesome stuff here some box cars union pacific southern and these aren't in the best order they started in order and then we found a ton of stuff um new haven southern up some flats with some pipe loads i think they're pipe loads gerber swift all kinds of stuff here little dutch cleanser this is a cool one this perina so this is the normal one you always see but this one has a red top and red sides that's i don't know if that was a mist paint or what cool stuff lots to see and that tootsie roll is pretty cool that tank car these are in pretty good condition um this is i think new it's a kit seems like everything's in order there got some figures inside those two but there isn't any in that one more tank cars a bunch of flats and as you can see I'm using each flat to stand the other flat in front of it so you guys know what it's like to try to store flats all kinds of stuff the table is very full that begins nice more flats poppers bunch of different hoppers. All right, we have more various freight. Got some BN, some GN, cons, a couple Santa Fe stock cars, B&O stock car, Wabash, Perina, KC, MKT, Union Pacific, another UP hopper, KC. That's an MKT there up top. Some gondolas. More gondolas, some UP gondolas, Rock Island. We got like a circus car, New Haven, New York Central, and an ACL. Now we're moving into some Tyco cars. Sioux Line, Dutch Cleanser, Auto Loader car, BN, Rock Island Caboose, Prina in a box, UP gondola with pipes in a box, Virginian, very popular hopper there. Union 76, Western Maryland, Great Northern, Golf, uh, definitely a car that you don't see very often, Union Pacific Hopper, UP Caboose, Railgun, we're getting into nicer Mantua cars by the way, some of these have knuckle couplers like this one does, Erie Lackawanna, oh it's like Mantua 75 years, okay I see. I never saw that one before, it threw me off. <laughs> MDT and an 
art. We got more boxed freight cars. We got a Spirit 76 Caboose, some Union Pacific, a Southern DT&I. We got a Southern longer flat car, a General American Tanker, SP, Burlington Northern, another Southern, a Conrail Caboose, another Southern uh, flat, and LS, let's focus, LS and I, and we got a BB Ruth model power. Oh, and all those, by the way, were AHM. And now we're going to move to Lifelike. We got a Swanson, got SpaghettiOs, Campbell's Beans, V8 Juice, Burlington, CP Rail. And then more Lifelike, another Tanker, Southern Pacific, Green Northern, Burlington. And we'll move over to this, which I believe this belongs here. Um, this looks like it was a Campbell set. So we got a caboose. We got a box car. We got a bigger box car. We got a loco. And then this one, which was over there. And I just moved it here. And it looks like that all is part of a Campbell's set. Next up, we have some lifelike state cars. If I know my history, I think we're looking at the 13 colonies. So that's pretty neat. Never really seen them so complete before, so that that's cool. And these are really nice. Model Power Santa Fe container cars. And moving into some Atherin Blue Box, CN Box Car, Rio Grande Stock Car, Santa Fe Caboose, B&O Caboose, a UP Stock Car. We have an undecorated box car here. And a Great Northern stock car. Here's a Walther's, Northwestern Pacific, NWP, a bi-level auto carrier in complete condition. And we're back with more cabooses. We have Union Pacific, Pennsylvania on this side, and Redding. Pretty nice Redding there. Yep, a whole line of Union Pacific, Santa Fe. I'll kind of skim over this because we've seen a lot of it this month. <laughs> so, yeah. I have a plan for cabooses. That's all I'm saying for now, but I have a plan for them. Okay. Foreshadowing, right? Okay. Sioux Line. Spirit of 76. B&O. CSX, but needs a new roof. Chassis system. This one has a guy hanging out. Burlington. Illinois Central, CN, Chattanooga, all different kinds of Chattanooga, and a CNW. Your Lackawanna looks a little rough at the logo there. Actually, that's a patch job. Yeah, that's decals. That happens sometimes. Milwaukee, Southern, Penn Central, Silver Streak, Lifelike. It's like a show car there, Clementine, North Shore and Eastern, that's neat. Got a couple of random cabooses here at the end, and just like safety red cabooses. Here we have a new Lionel HO Polar Express. Very cool item right there. HO scale truck. We got graffiti decals. All kinds of different atlas, track accessories, and switch machines, different things like that. Oh, we have a bunch of these piggyback trailers. As you can see, some of them are incomplete or broke, but a couple of these look good, though. Got various atlas track here. All kinds of different pieces. A couple switches here or there. And we have some of the Black Bachman track. So a couple different new pieces here. And we got the flashing bumper. This is interesting. It's a mechanical train here. Gonna have to test it out, but that's what the wind-up locomotive looks like. 
I know nothing about this, so that's going to be interesting to take a look at. Here's a big old box of Transformers. We also got some G-Scale track and a G-Scale train set, but that's going to have to wait for today because we have an entire G-Scale video coming very soon. Alright, we got a variety of different Tyco boxed accessories here. So first we got an operating log dumper and most of these items I just opened the lid and it seemed like everything was in there but of course we can double check for you if you're truly interested in buying anything. So that's that. We got a Tyco piggyback flat car set. We got two of these um, Tyco unloader box cars and this one has the box car. We have another one. That one does not have the box car, but we have a bunch of these laying around. We could probably just throw in signs and poles. What is that? Bridge and trestle set. I could not even like read what it said. Piggyback flat car. It doesn't say what it is. So it says it right there. It's a bridge and trestle set. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this set. <laughs> okay. We got an operating gravel car, container loader, and un unloader depot. Two of them. We got a piggyback flat car set. We got two of these. They're bridge and trestle sets. We got a bridge and trestle set that glows in the dark. I've never seen this. And all I will open this, because yeah, you can see it's all green. That is pretty neat. We got two operating crossing gates. I've never seen this, and this is another example where it just says it very lightly on the cover of the box. Operating tractor loader with coal load. So that's pretty cool. We got signal man with lighted shack. There we go. And a couple Tyco tank cars slash flats. And we got a random lifelike operating gravel unloader. And then two Bachman items here, lighted passenger station and an action depot. And sorry, I did not open this bag up, but I'm pretty sure these are trestles. Yeah, that's what that is. HO scale mini metals, Kanoko. We got gas station, the signage, and a tow truck as well. Something for the end scalers. We have model railroader, beginner's guide. Got some various different things. A lot of this stuff's going to start getting more random as we go. But there are some gems here. So we got static grass, different things there. We got piers, we got trestles. There's a plot controller. All trees and all kinds of stuff in there. And we got unpainted people. Two transformers into boxes. And this is an entire DVD collection of Dream Plan Build. If you guys need tons of information to make a model railroad, hit us up. All right, we also got some buildings. Some are in better condition than others. Like these two are pretty cute. We got some other ones here. That's a little saloon. The little guy sitting there. I think this might be German. I'm not really positive. We think this might be O-scale, and we think this church is O-scale because there's a little church right here, and that's huge, so we'll see. Um, two houses. Don't know much about these. We'll let us know if you want anything. Here's the last batch. There's all these things that are marked powerhouse. Kind of looks like a train set, all like in these boxes. I don't know if it's AHM or what. I've seen boxes like this before, but I have no idea, so I'll have to check that out a little more. We'll leave that mysterious for now. <laughs> we have these lifelike uh, sound buildings, so they have remotes and it'll make sound. Two different styles there. Woodland Scenics, got the landscape learning kit, and some of the realistic tree kits. Railroad hats. We have a dummy that's a Santa Fe B unit here for a shark nose. Royal American Shows, that's a shell of a locomotive, shell of a boxcar UP, and this is the Santa Fe dummy. 
two random cars. And then this is something I've yet to see. MRC, it's like an entire system that has different sounds on it. When I saw the speakers, I'm like, yo, those look like my first computer speakers I ever had. But that's pretty interesting. I've never seen that before. This is where we got everything. Now, even though we did buy out the rest of the inventory that Nick had at his train shop, he's going to be continuing to sell online. So check him out on Facebook and his website, offthetrackshop.com. Nick was really great to work with. I'm happy with the deal that we got. I, I think we'll do okay. I didn't think we'd be buying out collections, just filling our van. It was fun, actually. <laughs> We literally started with $60, me and Victoria got married, things were just tough. Literally sleeping on the floor of our garage. Owning a business is tough, like that's, I can understand why, you know, not, not everyone wants to experience that kind of pain. But I love this. By far the biggest challenge I ever did in my life. I can tell that's going to be the most worthwhile one. It's just getting crazy. I mean, there, there's trains going up the steps, three floors. <laughs> we gotta sell some trains before we buy more trains. And then this happened, literally two days later. So, here we go again.